Hi, do you ever feel like everything breaks all at once? Well, it definitely happens that way when it comes to our phones. Just recently, uh, we both needed to buy screen protectors for our iPhone 6 Pluses, so I ended up ordering multiple screen protectors before I... Uh, actually installed them. So I have three different iPhone 6 Plus screen protectors that I'm going to compare today based on um, you know what they're like, how easy they are to install. So first of all, I really hope I can get a good picture of this, but this is the last screen protector that I bought and I want to show you what happens to these screen protectors. There you go. You can see how it's bubbling. And I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it's cracked. And this was a great screen protector, I thought, until I'd had it for about a week. And it started cracking. And it makes it actually look like the surface of my phone screen is cracked. And the whole entire point of having one of these is to avoid having a cracked phone screen. So it actually got these little jagged edges along the outside. And uh, I, I hate this. It's so annoying. This was a tempered glass screen protector. Now it was really easy to put on you can see, maybe you can see, all the cracks that are in it when I pull it off of my phone. As soon as I drop my phone on the ground once or twice, it started doing this. So this is a piece of junk now. And my review rating of this will be declining. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these uh, phone screen protectors that you buy yourself are no different than the ones that you have put on for you at an electronics or phone store. They put those things on there for you and they charge you 40 bucks for that opportunity and that is essentially a ripoff. Um, the alternative is doing it yourself and you can buy one of these kits. I've got three here. One is professional glass brand made in Germany. This one is premium tempered glass protector. And then this one is the stallion screen protector. So the, this was the first one that I bought. And the reason why I bought the stallion screen protector was because it came with three different protectors in one package and we have two phones we need to put these on but I then came to realize that these are not tempered glass screen protectors and they actually do not protect my screen from being broken um, the features of this are protects against dirt scratches, leaves no adhesive residue, no fading or yellowing, and fingerprint reduction plus true touch. So nowhere on here does it say this is going to make my phone safe from cracking. So for me, this is worthless because the reason why I need a screen protector is because I drop my phone all the time and I don't want my screen to break. So this is uh, a no for me. All right, so now I've got it down to the glass protector. This here comes with cleaning wipes. Additionally, it comes with this tempered glass protector that's in this little uh, sealed case thingy. Seems kind of glass-like. 
looks like it'll fit on my phone and not obscure the buttons. If I were to put it on my phone, um, I don't see any kind of instructions with this one. So I'm going to set this one aside and we're going to take a look at this third one. This one comes with a clear installation guide. It also has this little cloth to clean off my phone in addition to a wipe and it has, what is this, a sticker. This is supposed to help me get it on my phone and also the tempered glass protector which feels a lot harder than the last one. I don't know if that means it's going to break easier or not, but uh, I'm going to try to put this one on because I like the looks of it a little better than the other one I was just looking at. So, and plus it has instructions. Make sure to wash your hands thoroughly and wipe your screen with the microfiber cloth and the included alcohol wipe. Okay, I've washed my hands thoroughly already. Let me use the microfiber wipe. It won't be that dirty because I've just had another screen protector on it. Now it says to adjust the position of the glass before the actual installation. Peel the protective layer off the adhesive. Marked side one. Okay. I've done that. Adjust the position of the glass before the actual installation. Okay. Carefully align the glass and cutouts to the screen and slowly begin the application proc process. Make sure not to touch the adhesive with your fingers. Hold onto the glass by the sides and place it on the surface of the device. Let's see if I can do that. is very challenging to line up the holes on the top and the bottom of this. I think I'm supposed to be able to use that sticker they gave me in some way to do this. But the instructions don't mention that. But I just dropped it on my phone and I was able to pick it up. I almost got it. Okay, line it up on the top. Line it up on the bottom. Now it says to press the center. It's doing some kind of crazy thing where it's automatically adhering now. Wow. That's pretty cool. This is a lot easier than the last one I put on. And it looks pretty amazing. So then, smaller bubbles should disappear within one to two days. That's it. When removing for reuse, the adhesive properties might wear off to an extent. That's it. So 
sweet. So I think this one is the winner. Um, and that concludes my video review. And this is the uh, winning product. And I will post the link to where you can purchase it on Amazon.